the stock market just hit an all-time record high. It broke for the first time ever, 23,000. In his appearance at the Rose Garden at the White House, the president also said he endorses a tentative bipartisan deal reached to stabilize Obamacare. We have been involved, and this is a short-term deal uh, because we think ultimately block grants going to the states is going to be the answer. That's a very uh, good solution. We think it's going to not only save money, but give people much better health care. The president had promised to scrap the subsidies or cost-sharing payments, but this agreement brokered by Republican Lamar Alexander and Democrat Patty Murray will allow them to continue for two years, and in return, it would give states more flexibility with the Affordable Care Act. We're trying, trying to take a small, limited, bipartisan step that will avoid chaos, again, to keep premiums lower, and make sure that all Americans have access to insurance. We're, cl we're, we're close to that. I'm very pleased that in the hearings and discussions with over half the Senate, Chairman Alexander and I were able to find common ground on a number of steps to stabilize the markets. On another front, the president's nominee to head the Drug Enforcement Administration, Tom Marino, has withdrawn his name from consideration. Marino came under intense scrutiny after a 60 Minutes report showed that a bill he sponsored tied the DEA's hands in fighting the opioid drug epidemic. The bill passed unanimously last year. He told me, look, if there's even a perception that he has a conflict of interest, he doesn't want anything to do with it. Now, on another front today, a decision out of Hawaii federal court has derailed President Trump's third attempt at a travel ban that was to go into effect tomorrow. Federal judge says it suffers from the same problems as the previous travel ban. This one could go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, Christine Marais. It could. Thank you, Dick.